So finally, we just got the monthly close, the yearly close. This is what we all have been waiting for. Now, there is something which the charts give you for sure. This is over. This part is over. And it kind of shows you this time around, it's in a hurry. This time around, it's in a hurry. Or what do I mean? Right? Big things, big pops are about to come. And when I say that, keep this in mind. This is happening in the market. And this is most recent moves in the market, right? When this was actually pumping right like crazy, I told you guys, like, you know, just two hours back, be cautious, right? Be cautious. Whales do a lot of these things to trap retail and get liquidity to exit. And at that time, TRB was at 607, say about 600. So I believe any one of the SI family who was inside that was out, was like two hours back where I was like, be cautious, green candles like this is not an entry, it's a danger sign. This is exactly what I told. And in like an hour, this came in, boom. It dropped 46%. And if you are in the market and you're looking at that right now, it is actually dropping like nuts. The price now is at 170. The price at which we called out get out was like 607, which was close to the top. Not the absolute top for sure. We missed that call out. But you get the idea. The market is becoming extremely volatile. You are watching whales using the newcomers, the retail, to get that liquidity and jump onto other assets. What do I mean by that? Huge opportunities. Welcome to the Scientific Investor family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. 900 plus members are taking benefit of all these calls, right? 919, that's actually a quick growth in the SI family, but this is the primary reason for that. When the market is doing things like this, others would say that's a FOMO, that's a blow off, blah, 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 blah. But remember, I called out this asset here around $13, $14 saying, okay, we are riding this. But yeah, for sure, I didn't see this coming, right? Around $275, $300, I was like, guys, if it's me, I would take profit and I will actually jump out. Like around this range, maybe, you know, this range of like just about the moving average, $200, $250, $300, that range. But then just one candle, the daily candle changed everything. I moved from $240 all the way up to $630 before it started dropping like this. So the market is doing a lot of weird things. But what's optimistic? If you're in the market and you're looking through all of this, this is optimistic. If you do look at all of this, say if you wanna look at Filecoin or Maker, whichever asset you really wanna look at, it kind of gives you something which is clear, which kind of states you that the market is showing something. Now, we had the breakout call I, earlier. You know, we um, gave you guys the idea that look at this, watch this. This is happening in the market. Remember, back in the day when this asset was here, I told you it's going to go up. That was like 700. Then it went up. Then we reiterated that somewhat like here. It's going to go up. From that, it's still up like 50%, right? So it's already been 100% move up in the market since we've been following this asset all the way from June, July, right? Now, one of the primary reasons, if you are looking at an asset, look for these. If there is a breakout and that breakout shows you it is retesting and bouncing off, that is a hell lot of sign. Now, say you don't know a lot of these, but follow that trend. I mean, if you are here to learn, educate yourself, this is something I'm giving you. Like, right? watch this. It broke higher. It went up. It came back down here. Mm -hmm. Now, keep this in mind, while it is doing that, this two highs, one here and the one here, is a higher high. But at the same point, the RSI is showing you something different. That's hidden bullish divergence. Simple words, a lot of sellers tried to push the price down, that's what you're seeing here, but the price did not come down. Either the sellers are weak, 
or the bulls are super strong. That's the easy way to look at it. If you are not that complex guy in the TA, this is the easy part. Then what's more important here is remember when Bitcoin did something like this, a lot of people were shouting, calling out for the downside, right? The same exact pattern here. It shows you what? A continuation pattern. Mm -hmm. And it also showed you the same thing. Hidden bullish divergence. The price did not drop, but the other side did. So a lot of sellers tried pushing the price down. They failed. Now, what? should you look for i mean it's um, not that hard to say but i think it is going to go way higher from here the structure in the price action is kind of easy to look through this is what you are looking at right you had this range of breakout a retest while you're bouncing you make sure or it made sure that there is a lot of bias involved now this is something which is going to happen I don't know how long it's going to take, but I think it's going to come soon. Now, that's just one asset. In the SI family, we go through a lot of assets. Yesterday, I just dropped a digest with 15, 18, 20 assets, something like that, covering like the medium to long-term view for those assets, what I'm looking at. Now, one of the primary reasons why we are looking through that, instead of looking through these assets when it was popping up, if I remember it correctly, even in the YouTube videos here, maybe the last three videos, I was actually giving you guys this signal for this particular asset, right? What did I say? Watch on these guys. Watch this asset. It's actually showing you this actually went like nuts. The price went up. It was like 250, 260 back then, right? Yeah. If you did trade and you were perfect in timing the market and you knew, knew that this was going to be the top way, the whales are going to freaking, you know, kick the hell out of a lot of people just like this. It was a trap. It was a liquidity to exit. It was a danger sign. If you knew that for sure, yeah, you made a 100% move. But what was my argument? Do you remember? This was my argument. It already did a 30x. Yeah, if you bought at the bottom and then you sold here at the top, you made 60 for sure. Double that. But how many of you could actually do that? I cannot do that. I mean, I'm not good in picking the bottom and the absolute top. Yes, for sure, when we see signs like this in the market, we say things. Mm. It does look like a movie which I've seen before. I've been here in the market for like eight years. So I've seen a lot of this. Initially, in the first two, three years, I've got trapped in. I was made liquidity by the whales. Now, I learned from my mistakes. So now we're not going to do that. So what's next? If your asset... Looks like this here at the bottom. Yeah, it, it doesn't look exciting for sure. I agree that fact. It doesn't look attractive. But if you are a real investor, this is what you're looking at. You want your asset to make a clear base, then break through to the upside. I don't know what it's going to do after that, how long it's going to take. But that's a sign that the market wants to go higher. Now you go on, you take Bitcoin for that matter. 12 months looks absolutely bullish. You're looking for half a year and it does look bullish. Quarterly, it does look bullish. Simply, you actually just put that into a line chart and what do you see is you came back to the moving average, you bounced off, you retested, you bounced off. We're clearly creating a bullish trend here. Now, I'm not suggesting this is going to go to a half a million dollar. I'm not that guy here. I'm giving you guys what I'm watching on the price action side of things. This is still great. It looks massively bullish, but it does not mean you may not see some volatility on a short term horizon when you zoomed in, right? This is what you are looking at. Now, while all this volatility was happening in the market, Bitcoin barely did anything. We literally, it stayed here. If you look at the total market, the altcoin market, this is what you're looking at on a monthly close. That's super bullish. You look at this. The MACD suggests it's crossing to the upside. It's turning super bullish, hyper bullish. And you zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, whatever range you want to reach in. The weekly close came in when the RSI was still inside that range. Remember what happened last time when this came into the picture and you broke through that range. That's something massively bullish. That's like a Nike symbol, isn't it? <laughs> but if you are willing to ride through that, it's going to give you a lot in return. Now, 
you go look at XRP on the monthly close and you're like, okay, last time we got one month of nothing, right? We didn't move much. Mm -hmm. Whereas here, the price action is showing you like it does want to go up, but it's not. Now, if you go back in time, we've seen something like this, you know, indecision candles, couple of them and then popped. Fine, but that was during a bear market. So when you actually go into the price history of the same asset and you're looking through this, you're like, okay, there is very few candles which actually have done these kind of things. But it did not actually break the trend. It followed the trend. So what's your trend here? Are you trending higher? Are you trending lower? You go on a line chart, this shows you clearly where you are. If you are looking through the market and you see there is a lot of noise, this is one of the easiest way to adjust that. Or else you go into a Hikinashi chart and then pull up your RSI. This kind of smoothens it out. So on a monthly, this is what we are looking at. Fine. It looks great to me. Now we are looking at the weekly and it's like, okay, you went up, you're coming back down, then you're bouncing back up. You're doing all of those. We literally want to see that. We want to see the price getting back up and moving up there. But one of the things which we really want to see right now in the price action is that we hold on to this trend line. We can come back, we can retest that, it's cool. But you want to see the price action breaking to the upside after this retest of 40 range in the RSI on a daily, which is going to be something which we will have to keep our eyes focused on for XRP or in XRP terms, right? Now, when the market actually opens on the stock market side, you'll actually see a lot of volatility hitting the market, doing a lot of different things for sure. But when you are in the market and you're looking through all of these assets, which are doing some things, say ontology, I think we had a call yesterday or earlier before the breakout, that's the actual point, right? So if we go on to those assets to look through like, you know, what it actually shows. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. So now when you're looking through these assets, we kind of get the idea here. This is a pattern, which if you're familiar with in history terms of T, you know what follows, right? Now, these are good opportunities if you are in that asset. Now, what was your measured move here? Like the measured move was like 300, you went up 350. So that 50 or last 30-40% of move is really, really hard to catch because it's it cannot be calculated unless you are a you know, genius or a bot. At least I cannot do that. So that's one of the primary reasons why I say, you know, catching the absolute bottom and the absolute top is really hard. But understanding the fact that this is your Wyckoff Creek and that's a breakout, that's not hard. We call it out here. Watch this, it's going to go up. Now we reach there. But did that happen in a day? No. It took like a few months. So if you had patience in the SI family, you already have seen your portfolio growing 100% in just one asset. There are many assets which have done 5, 10, 20, 30. That's a different story. But now if you are a macro guy, what are you really looking at, right? In this asset. What should you be looking at? I would say you actually come here, you actually take a ray and you pick one of your resistance, plot it towards the second resistance. This is going to be a decent ROI where you can actually take this out. If there is a negative divergence on a three day, on a weekly, it's going to give you much, much, much better results. But we're not here trying to catch the top. So one of the easy part is how much would those guys who bought at the bottom make here. That's barely 5x. So historically speaking, if you look through that terms, you'll see, okay, this is something which this asset is doing. It's not doing a parabolic 10, 20, 30x kind of a move, right? So if you are in this asset, you're trading this, okay, fine, make sure you do see this. And if there is no way there is a negative divergence, it's okay, write it. But if you do get one day, that's a negative symbol, right? So if you want to get those updates, like if that's forming a weekly negative divergence, yeah, come on, jump on to the SI family. You know, a few months from here, you will regret if you don't. I can actually assure you that's the amount of effort time we are putting in to make sure each of you get the value which you are enrolling in for. Remember, even in last couple of videos before, I told you guys, watch 
there is a higher amount of possibility that this divergence is coming in. Now, it's true. It's the reality in the market. Historically speaking, when you do see those, sometimes it takes a lot of time. But this time it came up way early. What's common? The one, the two, the three. Here, one, two, three. Did we call that out? I know that's going to be the next question which usually comes in the market. But, you know, surprisingly, yeah, we did. When the price was still at $130, that range, I told you guys, watch for this. This is going to be the three-wave structure. There is a huge price discovery coming in. There is going to be a lot of trap. You'll have to watch how the divergence play out, right? And if you look at that now, you understand, okay, from that 140 it actually went up to 500 600 Now, the target was not the great big day. It was not the 500 we went through. We went nuts like 600. I missed the top. I agreed. But how many of you actually saw these kind of moves in the market over a long period of time and thought this is going to come in, right? I was surprised. I was thinking like 350, 400, it's going to top off. Maybe 300, right? But then the whales decided to do what they usually do the best. If you are new in the market, you're getting surprised by these moves. If you enter into one of this, watching it popping through the roof like this. This is some of the important things in the market which you should have known. A danger sign, which the SI family was well aware of. Now, right now, if you go through the return rates of last quarter, you'll see a lot of different assets doing pretty good. So make sure if you see some asset is already up 10, 20, 50 percent, 50 X, do they have a negative divergence. If they do, then make sure you're cautious in that particular asset. So guys, now I really thought, you know, I wouldn't be able to make this video today, but huh, I'm here, I'm doing it. So smash that like button for me. I'll be leaving to the church right now. The watch night service will be starting soon. So I'm going to rush into the church. So if any of you want to join the party here in the SI family, you can use the link in the description below. We are killing it in the market. So I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.